alone. Complete alone. You lost your friends, GPS is at home and your mobile phone battery is low. You have no sight to civilization, no sign of civilization, no way, no tracks. And now? Could it really happen that someone in a land like Germany is missed? Could it really happen that I lost my child? What can I do that I am prepared for such situations? Me and my children. And how do I come back to civilization? Questions over questions. And today I will give you answers. Here in Germany we had the case that an eight-year-old girl missed his parents while they was at a mountain. Two days and two nights was the girl complete alone in the woods. After two days and two nights they found her. She was really, really cold, but healthy and alive. So, and to this uh, case, several um, TVs came to me and make interviews if it is really possible and how I can prepare my children and what can I, can I do to be prepared for such situations. So, and I asked all those, I answered all those questions, but in the TV the time was too short. So this is a really important video and I want to tell you all the answers in a speci specific video. So if you are interested, stay tuned. I know nobody wants to talk about this topic. Nobody wants to talk about negative teams, but it is really, really important that you talk about it and that you are being prepared. So when you have a family, when you have kids or a partner, sitting down at the table in a quiet moment and talk about what is really possible, what could happen to me. So, for example, they said in the social medias after the postings with the missing Julia that it is not possible to be missed in Germany into the woods, that the parents doesn't look good enough that the parents stared at their mobile phone. So I don't like when other people write like this because it is not fair to talk about a person who cannot answer. And nobody knows what really happened there, why Julia was missing. So they said that they are at their way down and the kids are running faster and Julia wants to run as the fastest at the top of the group. And then she lost the way and she doesn't find it back. So, also in Germany it is possible that someone is lost in the forest. And the first important point of all is that you have to think about the situations, what could happen to me or to my family. When you talk with your kids, when you want that your kids are also be prepared for such situations, it is important that you not tell them such situations once you know that the brain needs to hear it often, to remember it. And of course, in such a situation, when the child, the child is really lost, they are in panic. And maybe they remember only one or two things what you told them. Because of this, it is important that you um, talk with him again and again. But not only at your table at home, also in realistic situations. When you are in the mountains, talk with them. What can you do when you lost the group? What can you do when you fall down, etc. Or when you are in the woods, that you talk with them. So we are here now in the woods. What would you do when you don't find us anymore? How can you back to the car, to the street or to civilization? Of course, you can give your kids or yourself not only information on the way, of course, also materialistic stuff. And I want to show it to you now. But at first I want to talk about um, children. When you are with your children at an adventure trip, many of them doesn't know their full name, their mobile phone number and their address. 
or they forgot it in such panic situations. So you can make a small card into plastic, covered with plastic, and write at the paper your full name, address, telephone number. And then you can put it at the uh, uh, trousers, put it into the pocket from your kit, and they have also their telephone number and all their information with them. Um, so this is one thing that you can do. And of course, it is important that your child knows so fast, so early as possible, their full name and um, their village where they live. The older kids can also remember the mobile phone number. So these informations are really important if someone finds your kid. So let's take a look. This here is an equipment belt from one of my children. Of course, not every kid had such an equipment belt. But um, yeah, I have one for bushcraft and also my kids need one. They wanted it, so they've got it. And there are, um, there are stuff inside what they need to bushcraft. So of course, also stuff for an emergency. The first tool, which is for kids and also for adults important, is a flashlight. So it looks very simple and it's pretty small. But a flashlight really helps me help me in emergency situations. So when I doesn't find the way and when I'm not early enough for coming home, I can see my way with the flashlight. I can see where I am. I can look what is in my way that I doesn't fall above over stones or branches or fall down a hill. And of course, I can make signals with it. I can make that others see me in the darkness with the flashlight. And it helped me with my, um, when I am afraid, because not many kids or adults will be in the forest before overnight. And I doesn't know what kind of sounds are there from the, from the animals and when they can see what is around of them. They are not so afraid anymore. When you are lost and someone is searching for you, you can make signs where you are, at which way you are walking. When you have nothing with you, you can make signs at the ground with uh, stones or with branches or with grass, everything what you find in the nature. So then the others know in which way you are walking. But often they don't see it because it is at the ground and when there is a bush in front or grass, you can walk two meters away and you doesn't see it because it is in the ground and it, is, uh, it has the same color like everything else at the ground. So this here is a waterproof um, pen and with this pen I can make marks at the trees. So I can write my name, I can write I need help, I can uh, make a sign in which way I am walking and of course it is a little bit higher than a sign at the ground and it is colorful and colorful is easier for us to see uh, as when we use nature materials. When you are lost or when your child is lost, it happens mostly in the situations where you have no backpack. So you have to pee and go away from the group and use the wrong way um, or the, ch the children are playing without their backpacks and they, they are running into the wrong way. So situations like this. And then you have nothing from your emergency stuff. But this here is a whistle and you can have the whistle at your body, so on, around your neck or in the pockets or something else. And 
this is uh, it are often minutes when you lost your groups and um, this whistle is an emergency whistle it is pretty loud not the cheap ones out of, pla out of plastic there's a metal whistle and i can call for help with it you can hear this whistle really wide and when you're lost you came at the point where you can't scream anymore because you scream you scream help 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 and then you have no no um no choice you, uh, you can't talk anymore and then you can also use the whistle because when you can't talk anymore you can also almost breathe and you just have to breathe out to use this whistle so really important and wear it at your body of course you can carry a lighter or a fire steel close to your body or into your backpack but um, it is not so realistic that you use the fire steel in an emergency situation because it you find out that you doesn't come back at this day to the civilization when it is complete dark or yeah or the darkness begins and then it is at the most time too late to do something when you have no light with you uh, you had to prepare a um, shelter, an emergency shelter. Maybe you want to make a fire, but everything is dark and then it is too late. So, of course, you can carry it with you and you can show your children how they could use it, how they can make a fire only out of natural materials. You can also put them a fire starter into their backpack, but it's not so realistic that you really can to use it when you are only one or two days lost. Another helpful tool is the emergency blanket because the blanket can not only warm your body. You can use this emergency blanket in several ways. The, the first is to heat your body up. But when you want to do this, it's important to know this emergency blanket has two different colors, silver and gold. And when you want to heat your body, the gold side had to be outside. So you can remember, gold bracelet is outside at the body and to heat I needed the gold outside, the silver side close to the body. So, and then I can use it as a rain cover because when you get wet, your body get very cold and this is very dangerous because when this happens you can't move right you can't think right and you can then to the point when it is really hard you um, you are dead so with this you can protect your body from rain or you can also carry stuff inside for your um, emergency sleeping place for your shelter you can carry for example leaves inside to your shelter or you can use this as a shelter when you find a rock or a fallen tree you can cover it with it with the blanket fix it with stones or branches and then you can sleep under it now you can see that this stuff can save life but doesn't need so much space you can easy pack it pack it pack it into your backpack or into your pocket from the jacket or, or the other pocket so and this is when it doesn't buy the high prices products um, about 12 to 50 dollar or euros so not so expensive and it can really save life but important wear the, the whistle at your body so this is stuff how you can be prepared but what should you do when this situation really are there? You are lost. So at first, I know it called really easy, but it is not easy in such a situation. You have to calm down. Because when you are in panic, you sometimes do the wrong things. So sit down where you are. Just sit down. Because when you are in a group they try to find you and it could happen that you walk 
always around and nobody see the other. So sit down for one hour and just wait and calm down, breathe and you have to find out what you have there. So which kind of equipment I have with me, which clothes I have with me, what could I use to come back to, civiliz to civilization, how can I find the way back. Try to sit one hour at the place where you are lost and hope that someone find you. And in this time you had to make noises, scream, <laughs> sorry, scream for help or use your whistle. And when you can't make both of them, you can put on branch and uh, put it on a rock or at a tree, make noises that someone can find you. So, and then you have to look how late it is, when it is getting dark. So it is possible that I can find my way down into the darkness or it is better to stay there and um, prepare a um, place for the night. So there is not only one right answer for this case because nobody knows in which situation you are. It is winter and uh, you are freezing in the night and maybe you are dying in the night without anything or uh, then it is maybe better to use to search your way in the darkness when you have a light or is it fall or spring or summertime when it's dark it is maybe better to make an emergency shelter because when you are in panic often happens something to you because you are in panic, you are falling or something else, then it is better to stay. So you have to find the right answer into this situation. But you have to know that many, uh, many accidents happen when you are in panic at your way. When it is dark and you don't see everything, you could also die. So you have to find for yourself the right answer. You have the situation that it is dark and you don't find your way at this day. You had to stay for the night. Then use your eyes, look around, what is there? What can I use for an emergency shelter? Is there a rock where I can lay dry under the rock, rock and are a little bit windproof from one side? Or is there a fallen tree, maybe a spruce tree I can use the branches with needles for an underground and I can make a blanket out of the branches with the needles. Or is there a fallen uh, beech tree? I can lay my body close to the tree and make out of leaves a um, sleeping cover. When you have nothing with you and you can also not use an emergency blanket, you had to make everything close check it close this year up and put everything from your body together like an embryo or like a baby into the warmth from their mother. So close together as it is possible. When you want to find your way back to the civilization you have to use your sins. So you can see if you see anything you can use your ears. Can I hear a noise? Can I hear humans? So humans are so loud. You can hear the machines. You can hear uh, maybe the motor saw when someone is working with the motor saw. Or you can hear the bells from the church. If you hear something, go into the right from the noise. When it stopped, you also stopped. You have to wait if the noise come back and then you can go again. Um, or you can check your area, is there a pylon for uh, energy? You can follow them because they always bring you to civilization. Or is there a river or a creek? Follow it because they always bring you to humans. Um, or is there a hunter place? Or is there a market and tree? Then someone was there, so there are humans close, uh, or the street is close. 
um, you really have to use your signs. When it is dark, you can see lights. So check your area. If there is a higher point, you have a wide view. If there is a light, when you see a light, mark the right, the right with a branch or a stone, because when it is um, when the day is back and the night is away, you can remember the way in which way I have to walk. And it is not so easy to find your way without anything because today we have everything. We have the mobile phone where we can check where we are. We have the GPS or we have market ways. But when we lost all of the stuff, and this is, it could happen that it's because the battery is low or something else and you cannot use it. It is pretty, uh, pretty hard today because we doesn't know how it works. Not many people who are lost will have any help with them who they can find the right way. The right way. So then you can check where is the sun, can I follow the sun? But when you are in the forest, maybe you can't see it right. But when you can see the sun, you can see, oh, the sun goes to north. When I follow the sun, I have one direction and they don't doesn't run in a circle. Or when you can see the stars, it can help you when you can follow the stars. But I cannot see the air here. So it is not so easy and you can also not check how the moss grows at a tree. Many people said, yeah, you just can check where the moss is growing and then you know the right. But mm -mm, this isn't a safe information because the moss can grow when it is in wet area complete around from the tree. When you are several days lost, it could be that a helicopter is searching for you. Then um, you have to be sure that they can see you. When you are on, under a leaf heaven or under needle trees, they can't see you. So you have to come to a place or a matter or something else where they can see you. Um, be sure that they can uh, see you make this with the emergency blanket or when you have colorful clothing, show the clothing so and then maybe they can see you. Yeah, and when you are for such a long time lost, also food and water is important. But I want to tell you some food that you can find in the nature because it could be that you mean this is an edible plant and then it is a poisonous one. So you have to know it for your own. You had to be prepared. You have to know the plants which you can eat in your area. And with the water is also not, not so easy. You can drink water out of moss or from a lake or a river and it could help your body but it can also poison your body because uh, there can be some bacteria inside of the water that can lay on that animal a few hundred meters away and you are poisonous because of this you can have a bad stomach and something else so it is not so easy to give you the right answer for this. These are my important tips when you or your child is lost. So I hope that we all never need it, but it is always better to be prepared. So I hope you like it and we see us in the next video. Bye bye.